What is a mast cell tumour? Essentially, it's a type of skin cancer very common in dogs. Here's what they can look like. So how are they diagnosed? Your veterinarian will probably do a fine needle aspirin. So just on that, see something, do something. What we want to do is diagnose these things when they're small. So anything that's the size of the pea that's been there for a month, you need to get it checked. Go and get those lumps checked, okay? Because we need to get rid of these things while they're small, before they get a chance to metastasize and before they get too big for surgery. Mast cell tumors come in essentially three kinds. Grade one, grade two, grade three. The pathologist will also make a comment on whether they're a high grade or a low grade. So we have grade one, grade two and grade three. All of these grades are either high grade or low grade. So grade one is the better of the three. Grade three is bad. Low grade is better. High grade is bad. Now, grade one tumors, about 95% curative with surgery. Grade two tumors, approximately 80% curative with surgery. There's about a 15% risk of metastasis, which means they spread to other parts of the body and a small risk of regrowth. Grade three tumors, really bad news. 90% risk of metastasis. Often these things have spread before we've even made a diagnosis. Grade three is bad news. Unfortunately, your pet is probably going to need some extra treatment such as chemotherapy. So, how do we treat mast cell tumours? So, treating canine cutaneous mast cell tumours, the main stage of treatment has always been surgery. So with surgery we need big margins, two to three centimetres where it's possible. The other thing, we need to go deep. So we have two to three centimetres around the lesion and one muscle plane deep. So we need to get under the tumour as well. So what are we going to do if your pet has a mast cell tumour somewhere where it isn't possible to remove it? For example, you might, your pet may have a, a lesion come up next to the eye and um, to take two or three centimetre margins your pet would lose its eye. Obviously that's not a great outcome. So. What we need to do is do an incisional biopsy. An incisional biopsy is taking like a little piece of pie out of the lesion. We're going to take it from the top so that we don't spread it into the tissue, the scar tissue around the lesion. So your vet would do an incisional biopsy, send it off and have it tested. Now depending on what grade it comes back as, it may give us other options for treatment. We have a new product coming soon, a product called Stelfonta. Tiglanol Tiglate, I think I've got that right. Soon to be released in Australia, we hope. The product was actually discovered uh, in the rainforests of North Queensland, where it's been in use for 10 years in, in a trial. Even though it was discovered in Australia, we still don't have this product, so very frustrating, but coming soon. Now, the great news, um, for all of those lesions that aren't operable, we'll be able to inject Stelfonta into the lesion and causes the, the lesion to slough and fall off and then remarkably it heals seemingly without any cancer tissue left behind. So a miracle product coming soon. Now some high grade mast cell tumours have something called a CKIT mutation. That's very complicated. Essentially there's a receptor for tyrosine kinase in mast cells that seems to be involved in the proliferation of the cells that seems to make them become cancerous, okay? So if your dog's mast cell tumor has this CKIT mutation, and about one third of them do, then there's this wonderful drug called Palladia that can be very useful in treating mast cell cancers. Okay, so just to confirm, uh, for grade 1 mast cell tumours, 95% cure with surgery for grade 1 mast cell tumours. 
for cancers that are inoperable, we may be using the new product Stelfonta when it arrives. Now for grade two, they're a little bit more tricky. Uh, we have grade two low grade and grade two high grade. So for our grade two low grade, again, we're looking at surgery as the primary cure. For grade two high grade, we're going to try and get all of this cancer with surgery. There is, uh, you know, 15 to 20 percent risk of, of metastasis. For the higher grade lesions, we can look at uh, following up with palladia. That's if they have the CKIP mutation. For cancers that may be inoperable, we can look at the new treatment called Stelfonta that we inject into the lesion to make it slough and die off. With grade two, it's really a watch and act. Um, if we get a grade two high grade, your veterinarian may want to stage that tumor. So what does staging mean? means what stage is the cancer at? Do we still have a localized lesion? Has it spread to a lymph node? Has it moved beyond the lymph node into other organs? In the mast cell tumors, they can spread to the spleen, the liver, the lungs, the bone marrow, the gut, the brain. They can pretty much end up anywhere. So your veterinarian may want to stage your tumor if you have a grade two. So typically that involves blood work, it may involve uh, either a fine needle aspirate or an incisional biopsy of your regional lymph node. It may, uh, may involve x-rays, ultrasound, CT, depending on your appetite for expense. Okay. Now, grade three mast cell tumors, unfortunately, very bad news. If it hasn't spread already, there's a 90% chance that this thing's going to metastasize. Now that means it's going to spread to other parts of the body. The first place it goes is the regional lymph node. So after a grade three mast cell diagnosis, either low or high grade, your veterinarian is probably now going to want to stage this tumor. Go back and check the lymph nodes. Maybe do some further diagnostic testing such as blood work, x-rays, ultrasound, possibly even a CT. How can we treat grade three mast cell tumors? Well, if there's just one local lesion, obviously we're gonna remove that surgically. Your pet may need to have chemotherapy. So we usually use a combination of vinblastine, lomustine and prednisolone. If your pet has this CKIT mutation, then palladia becomes an option as well. Now, if your pet has a lump that's as big as a pea that might have been there for a month or longer, I want you to go and get it tested. So come and see us at Trindale Pet Medical. For all the right advice, we've got excellent surgical facilities. We'll do a good job for you. If your pet needs chemotherapy, we can help you too. Come and see us at Trindale Pet Medical.